Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, welcome you again this morning to this brand new, never seen before uh, gift out of the hand of God week. Uh, the potential of this week is all up to us. The potential of this week is all up to the manifestation of the truth of the word of God in our lives. Amen. So as we start off this week, um, we can start off this week with a scripture that is excessively important to the success of the rest of this week. Um, firstly, I want to apologize that the devotion is so late um, this morning. Uh, my camera packed up this morning. I couldn't get it to, to work, so um, we're filming off of a mobile phone now. <laughs> but it still works. Amen. The Lord always uh, makes a way. So, um, if you want to follow this morning, I'm going to be reading uh, scripture out of the book of Luke, uh, chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, from verse 33. Very, very popular, but very important that the Lord wants to show us this morning. So, Luke eleven thirty-three, and the Bible says to us, No one lights a lamp and puts it under a place where it will be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in may see the light. So that is plain and simple. What the Lord is saying here to us is if we are uh, confessing to be servants of Jesus, if we are confessing to be disciples and uh, sons and daughters of uh, Father God, then we must display it. We mustn't hide it. We must show it to everyone. And by showing it to everyone, I don't mean uh, go out and boast or go out and, and make a public spectacle of it. I mean through our deeds and through the gifts and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So goodness and kindness and, and joy and peace. and So to, sh to display that to people. Then, this is the very, very important part for the rest of this week. So verse 34, your eye is the lamp to your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body also is full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body is full of darkness. So family in Jesus, this is, this is such a, a biblical truth this morning that the Lord is sharing here with us, is that everything that we um, look at, Everything that we receive through our eyes, our mind processes that, and then it sends it to the rest of our body. And what the Lord is saying here is that what we see with our eyes or look at with our eyes can either become a blessing to our minds, bodies, souls, and spirits, or it, be, it can become a huge curse. It, it can become a an addiction, it can become a sin. And uh, then verse 35, see to it, <clears throat> um, see to it then that the light within you is not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part of it is dark, it will just um, as full of light as the lamp shines on the inside of you. So family in Jesus, what the Lord is saying yet to us, it's nothing new this. We've, we've, we've heard this since we were children. Um, don't, don't look at those naughty things. Don't um, look at those ugly things. Uh, don't look at death. Don't look at destruction. And uh, the word of God is teaching us here, again this morning, going into this brand new week. A week that we have never had before. A week that is filled with godly potential. And, and, and ultimately, it all comes down to the decisions that we make in this week. Because we can choose to meditate on the word day and night and be careful to do what it says so that we may be prosperous and successful. Or we may decide, like Deuteronomy 28, the second part, where we decide to be disobedient. And then this scripture comes into play in our lives that 
whatever we are disobedient to then fills us with and 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 this temple then becomes darkness so family in jesus i said it uh, we said it last night and i'm saying it again this morning to motivate and encourage all of us this is an absolutely brand new week in in our whole life here on earth we have never been presented with a week like this before ever and if we think about it we sit down quietly today right now with the holy word of god in our hands and in our minds and in our bodies our souls and our spirits and we sit and we think about the absolute godly potential that we have been blessed with in this week then family in jesus we can go out and we can be prosperous and successful we can go out and we can be conquerors and not only conquerors more than conquerors because jesus has already done everything for us he's he's set the the, the path ahead of us he's laid the foundations and it all points to the throne of our father and the bible teaches us that the throne of the father is is uh, producing that life-giving river the 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 true counselor the holy spirit and so there's almost no possible way that we can fail this week unless we go and we lay our eyes on something that is against the the word of god and that goes against the the kingdom of god so family in jesus let us motivate each other let us motivate ourselves let us stand up this morning edified in the word of god and let us say to ourselves with everything inside of us this is the week that i am going to fast of everything of this world that may enter my mind and may enter my eyes every every negative piece of news if i start reading a negative piece of news i'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip over that. If, if I'm watching TV and something comes up that is going to affect me negatively, skip over it, put off the TV, move away. If I'm watching something on YouTube and, and it's negative, it is destructive to my uh, soul and to my mind and my heart, move on. Look for something that is going to encourage you encourage me encourage the, the the body of christ and build up the kingdom of god family in jesus we are standing at a brand new week a week we've never had before let us take this week and let us make it something absolutely godly and we can all do this together if any one of us feel that we are battling or struggling in this week reach out to someone else the bible says to us that we are to carry each other's burdens so that it will be lighter for us so reach out to someone and say brother or sister i'm battling in this area please i want this week to be glorious but i'm battling and then when someone does reach out to you brother and sister in christ stand with them pray with them intercede for for them bring them to the throne of the father and the father according to the book of james will then heal them amen so let us walk this this week together and let us see what jesus can do in our lives amen amen let us pray father god in the name of jesus your son we thank you for everything that you have given us lord jesus for the for for the gift and the potential that you have given us of this week and lord we are excited by the scripture that we have just read because it has given us a key to success in this week lord jesus and the key is whatever we lay our eyes on whatever touches our eyes the windows to our soul and our body that will determine how this week will go lord jesus so I pray, please, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the truth of the Word of God, that, Lord, that, that you will guide, lead, and teach us this week, Lord Jesus. We pray that you will 
um, keep us away from temptation, Lord. That you will deliver us from evil. Lord, that you will help us surround us um, with a legion of, of angels and hedge us in and protect us, Lord Jesus. Remind us, please, Holy Spirit, of the things that, that we set our eyes on this week. If it is, um, if it is going to be um, problematic to, to our, our minds and our, our souls, then help us, please, Lord Jesus, to move away from it. But if it is positive, Lord, like Joshua 1 verse 8 says, meditate on the word day and night. Then I pray, Lord, that we will, that we will concentrate on that, Lord. So blessed be the name of the Lord. May this be a glorious week. May this be a week that, that just fills your kingdom with positivity, Lord Jesus, and, and, and with, with glory. And we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, brother in Christ, sister in Christ. So um, go out right now, this, this day, and start this brand new week um, in an in a epic way. Amen. So be careful what you look at. Be careful what you fill your, your mind with. And, and make sure that it is positive, that it's encouraging, that it is upbuilding, strengthening. Make sure that it builds God's kingdom and builds his people. Make sure that it builds you. Make sure that it brings you to a closer place to Jesus and doesn't drive you away from him. Amen. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.